the creator, <laughs> the father, um, he's everything. <laughs> I really think um, and I do believe in what the Bible says about God and I do believe that he's the creator, he's the yeah, the creator of everything. So I think when people ask like you just say about how we find God, we find God in us because he made us an image of him. So we can find part of God in us. Not not we not God. <laughs> I'm not God. But definitely um, God is in uh, everything. There's people that ground you, that you know that Mukamboga will be there, you know, to pull you back to where you need to be. So for me, that's what God is right now. How do I identify with spirituality? I'd say that is the very essence of your being. If you are a living and breathing human being, you need to be you need to be spiritually awake and inclined. Ekaya niti basonde Roma, sakula basonda Roma. As I got older, I came to Dobrik, I went to a I'd say a normal church was like an international church. And then now I'm not a part of any church because I feel it's different from back then, you know. I'm not so sure our grandmothers used to go to. Now it's a bit different, you know. People are pushing their own agendas in the church. So it's kind of hard to find a place where you connect it. So for me, I don't go to church right now, but I do have a relationship with God. I don't feel you need to be in the church to have a relationship with God. You can do it from anywhere. To me, God is everything that breathes, that doesn't breathe. He's in everything that we do. He's in everything that we say, you know? Um, so I won't define him as, I don't know, the Bible has made him look like white man with hair and stuff, long hair. I just think it's, he's an entity that exists with us constantly on a constant basis. Yeah, that's all. I see God. I think being in the pit and not seeing a solution or finding a way out, and then you see yourself out of it, you know, whether that be being in hell with dangerous situations. I mean, you live in South Africa and you're like, I was just here two minutes ago, but if it happened to me, it happened to someone else, you know? That's when you see that, damn, God is there. And there's always, it's like he always makes a plan. He can be broke, 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 but you still find a way to put food on the table, you know? And that's not him directly taking that food and putting it there. It's him being in you, you know, so that you can actually make a plan to put that food on the table without having to do something you're not comfortable with. So I've seen him in that, in that instances like that where it was do or die, but he did. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you know, in 2000, uh, I'll ask you a little bit of basic. We were professional principal dancers in the company and it was called Pact at the time and the government withdrew all the funding and so here I was at the top of my career and thinking where do I go to what do I do and I won't bore you with the details of it but at such dire times you cry out to God and you think um, you know where are you why aren't you helping me and if you look back in hindsight you can just see God's hand on the situation and you just say well thank you Lord for those blessings and thank you for opening the door and thank you that the path that you have got for us what we do on our own is not going to change that, that fact and even right now currently i'm going through a little bit of a, a rough time of uncertainty where what how you know this the roads are bumpy and it's it's been a journey of just trust god god's the creator 
So, so when it comes about art, I think he creates art. He's the, the master <laughs> creator, you know? Creativity comes from him, you know? I believe, you know, he created the world in seven days and uh, he, he put names, not names, but he put like forms and things. So I do think God is the, like, the master artist ever, <laughs> ever been. And he put this on us. So I think we all as a human beings, we have that creativity in us because we are made as his image. Um, we did leave here with a lot of hope and enthusiasm <laughs> and excitement because definitely for me, I think I'm always interested in conversations around spirituality, religion, God, what role it plays in society, what role it plays, you know, in people's daily lives. For me, that's that's been a huge thing for me. I'm very fascinated by that. Mm -hmm. And obviously having my own spiritual beliefs, also learning about other people's beliefs and their spiritual practices is like something that also interests me because you get to kind of see how different they are. Mm -hmm but there's a thread throughout every religion, throughout every spiritual practice of like, they share similar core values of love yeah. and peace and hope. And it's definitely something that when we did manage to speak to certain people came through. So the conversation of spirituality and religion um, is very important because I think that's where we anchor ourselves mm -hmm. as people, as society. You know? Whatever it is you believe in, whether you are a believer or not, you still need something to hold you down and, you know, remind you or bring you back to yourself again, you know. Mm. And I think for many of us, religion is that, or belief is that. So I think we need to, to, to have this conversation. And also, we need to, when we have these conversations, there's also tolerance and understanding about why people praise the way they do, believe in what they believe in, instead of us just being judgmental towards people who believe in certain things and yes. who practice certain things. So I think the more con the more we speak about religion, spirituality, belief, I think the more we are able to understand us as a human race. Um, we are able to understand why we like in jail, why we do the things that we do and also, Uguba knows where, no? just to be considerate of the next person. Therefore, I must give them the space yeah. and the time to practice whatever it is they, they practice. So I think one of the stories that stood out for me was just seeing, you know, that ballerina who came from Brazil, oh. you know, and is in South Africa now and just him having explained or opening up about the fact that, you know, if it wasn't for God giving him this gift, like he doesn't fit the criteria typically mm -hmm. to make a great ballerina. Mm -hmm. He yeah. doesn't have the body for it, mm -hmm. but somehow God has given him, his belief is that God has given him the talent for it and he's good at it. And for me, that was interesting because, you know, he was sitting there telling us and speaking to us about the fact that I wanted so badly to go back to America mm -hmm. and, here God was just giving me all these signs to stay in South Africa and I eventually stayed where God wanted me to stay and I've been able to accomplish so much and I've been able to enjoy my stay in South Africa and live here and enjoy you know being a ballerina and the art form mm. as much as I have now being here and for me that's like amazing like your whole life revolves around you listening to God's voice in your life mm. and you find happiness you find fulfillment in that that for me was very very interesting yeah. and seeing how you know he was explaining how god sustained him through everything through moments where he thought he was going to fail through moments of uncertainty through moments of not maybe having as much as he, he he's used to and going through those trials and tribulations but still seeing god keep him safe and provide for him that that really was one of Story the stories that stood out for me yeah. and for you for me it was definitely the untold the ones that could, could not make it on camera um the ones that we could not record for various reasons and um this was the one we actually spoke about with our editors as well about a boy 
that we met who is um you know very colorful and and identifies as